This is CPM Chapter 5, Problem 122. We are asked to find the derivative of each function. So with a, we are given f of x equals x times root 5 minus x squared. And the first thing I did was rewrite root 5 minus x squared, and that is 5 minus x squared to the 1 half power. And so to solve this, we are going to have to use the product rule and chain rule. So for the um, product rule, we have to do the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So the first is x, so x times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of, the, um, of root 5 minus x squared is 1 half 5 minus x squared to the negative 1 half power. And then um, now we see that there is a function within a function, so we have to use a chain rule um, to figure out the derivative of the um, inside function and so the derivative of 5 minus x squared is negative 2x so we multiply negative 2x plus the second which is root 5 minus x squared and times the derivative of the first and the first um, is x so the derivative of x is 1 but we don't actually have to write that down and so I just rearranged um, the or I just like simplified um, this function right here, um, I so, um, multiply negative 2x times x times 1 half and I got negative x squared over um, this part right here which is root 5 minus x squared plus five, uh, root 5 minus x squared and that is our answer. And for b, um, we are given g of x equals 2 cotangent 5x minus 2 cosine to the third power x. And so to solve this, we're going to have to use um, the chain rule. And so um, first we need to find the derivative of cotangent. And to do that, um, we can actually use the quotient rule. And so I rewrote cotangent um, as... Um, cosine over sine and so to do the quotient rule we take the bottom which is sine times the derivative of the top the derivative of cosine is negative sine minus the bot or minus the top which is cosine times the derivative of the bottom the derivative of sine is cosine and that's why we get cosine over the bottom squared so sine squared and um, I just combine the signs together and cosines and I get negative sine squared minus cosine squared over sine squared and um, I just kind of broke that apart as negative one or negative sine um, squared minus cosine squared um, with according to the trig functions is negative one so negative one over sine squared um, and according to the trig identities again um, this equals negative cosecant squared and so now we found the derivative of um, cotangent and so um, it is 2 negative cosecant squared um, 5x times now we have to um, see that um, there is a function within a function so the derivative of 5 is or 5x is 5 so we, that's why we multiply it by 5 and minus um, 6 cosine squared x and we got 6 cosine squared x because we found the derivative of 2 cosine um, to the third power and so we did that by using the power rule so 3 times 2 is 6 and the third power minus 1 is 2 so that's how we get 6 cosine squared x and then times negative sine x and um, there's a function within a function, so um, we had to find the derivative of cosine, and that is negative sine x. And so for the answer, we get negative 10 cosecant squared 5x plus 6 sine x cosine squared x.